All right, so converting to minor is the best thing ever. We've it's something that I believe in strongly. It was what got me into jazz. It, it, it was something that made jazz so much easier for me. And that's why I'm sharing this to the world because I don't know why people do not talk about this. So I'm going to talk about Blue Bossa and how you can play, uh, how you can convert to minor over Blue Bossa. So it starts on C minor, right? <laughs> Right, so we got, and now I'm stealing this from like Pat Martino, right? Pat Martino does this. All right, so we have minor lines, which we learn from the book Linear Expressions, right, by Pat Martino. So you go learn that, or you can just just think about it as like, okay, C minor means we. Okay, this is stolen from Pat Martino's linear expression. So I recommend you go get them because then you'll get the lines, right? So nothing fancy with C minor, we just play C minor, right? So a lot of lines are just stolen from Pat Martino. A lot of them are just something stuff that I came up with. And I'll, if you want more like one-on-one -on -one help, you can join my community or you can pre get the pre-sale, which is in the description, which will be like about minor conversion in detail. So you can check that out if you want to. Thank you for doing that. Uh, other than that, we got C minor. <laughs> C minor to F minor, and you just do the same thing you do in C minor, you just transpose it to F. So learning Pat, Pat Martino's linear expressions, we know that if we would do like an exercise, we could go And then it goes to D minor 7, right? So what I did there was I did, you can do that in F. And you see how I started there? Because it's nice to be close to where you... So it's like seeing the the common traits over the guitar, like... And then you go... Okay, so D minor 7, five, 5, that's where the fun comes in. What, do you, what minor do we convert this to? This is a minor. What, what's this? That's a minor chord. Now it's also a minor chord, but we use the... So this is an F minor, right? F in the bass. F minor third, fifth root. So we literally have an F minor chord here. Just F minor, try it. And then we use the D. And it becomes this D minor 7 flat 5, but in reality is F minor with the 6th in the bass. This is the 6th of F, right? And that's... So basically what, what I'm trying to say is you convert this to F minor, right? So when you have a minor 7 flat 5, you go up a minor 3rd from the root, the D, to F. And now you play minor from here. It's just like F minor, right? So you learn F minor, you you learn minor lines, and you can basically play over anything. You just have to kind of debunk where they are on the guitar, right? You gotta open the maze up, right? It's not if you have F here, it's like you gotta open you gotta open this up. Thank mm -hmm. you.
So it's like, whenever I do that, it's like, okay, I'm free to play F minor over the whole guitar. And if I can play F minor over the whole guitar, and I can play any minor over the whole guitar, then I can play over most tunes, okay? Because most tunes you can convert to minor. That's the point of this video. That's the point of what I'm trying to teach from now on, okay? So D minor 7 flat 5 becomes F minor. And then we go G7. And here, here the thing is, uh, you can do different things. If you want to like really like play the altered stuff, you can convert this to an A flat minor. You hear how close they are? It's literally A flat minor six, but just G in the bass. So you can do, you can go F minor, A flat minor, and then C minor. To, to make that minor. And that would be like something like... Alright? But the, the, in reality, you can do that. So that's just like the theory behind it. You can go F minor, A flat minor when it's a minor 2 flat 1 in C. So D minor 7 flat 5, you play the F minor Dorian. G7, you play A flat minor Dorian. And then you land on the C minor. But in reality, most 2 flat 1s go quite quick, right? It's like... You're not gonna have time to play everything, right? You don't wanna just play because you wanna play melodic. So what I just say is just play F minor Dorian. And then land on the C minor. So if you don't land, then you, it's not gonna sound good, okay? The important thing here is to land. You want to land on the C minor, okay? So you just play F minor Dorian, F minor Dorian, C minor, all right? So landing, what I mean is like... Oh, I landed. It's like, you can't go wrong with that. That's why I don't even need to play with the backing track right now to show you guys, because you can hear that... Right? You can hear that it's like I'm landing on the fifth, I'm landing on the third, I'm landing on the on the seventh, it's whatever, on the ninth. Alright, you don't need a backing track because you you can hear you can hear the changes if you just play the right stuff, right? So D minor seven flat five becomes F minor. G7 because A flat minor or just keep going F minor, right? And then just land on C minor. Alright, so that's the first part. So that's the next part, the 2 flat 1 to D flat. D flat major seven, okay? And now you're just doing two five one. Like a major two five one is just E flat minor, right? So open up that minor fr minor formation. Imagine I'm landing, and now I'm doing, and now I'm doing the the next two five one to the D flat major seven, and now I want to have the closest way. I would go down a half step. All right, so that's because I know that I can play this arpeggio. So it's about this minor, right? So that's a major 7 arpeggio that's built from the 3rd of the minor chord. So that's like literally what you need. You don't have to think about, oh, what altered scale do I play? Don't worry about that for now. You could go... To get that altered, but... later I think because now you just want to focus on 
just minor so when you've learned minor when you've learned the minor all over the neck what you do then is you just play a two five one phrase uh, which is the minor phrase and then you just land so don't think about the five just think about the two that's how I see it talking about landing if you don't land then it's not gonna there's no point play the phrase okay e flat major seven does that make sense so you play e flat minor seven you skip the five and then you just land just make it so you can hear the chord tone okay I talk a lot about this in my community uh, when we have seminars on Mondays. It's like, I don't talk about anything else than just land. Come on, land. Don't just play. Like, you can play when it's... But when it goes to the one, try to just... T try to take a break. Take a pause. Establish it. Now we've landed. That's, that's what makes it sound good for our ears, right? So... Dun, dun, and then it goes back, right? F minor Dorian, A flat minor Dorian, C minor. And that's basically it, right? So that's how you want to think. I wouldn't say this if it wasn't true. Minor conversion is the way if you want to improvise, if you want to be free on the guitar, if you want the guitar to serve you. <laughs> like literally, that's what I'm feeling like. Because I've practiced these minor formations, because I realized minor fits so good. Like I will talk more about this in future videos. And also not talk like my course will be just so detailed about minor conversion because it's like there's so much to talk about too so it's like i can't do one video talking about everything but just imagine what we can do over blues you know there's so much we don't they haven't talked about the pros they talk they just tell you to learn all these scales no just trust me on the minor trust me to play minor if you want to improvise at least that's what most of us want to do right i want to improvise so skip the scales from now start learning do the minor scales and do the pat martino minor scales and you'll be and just i'll <laughs> i'll guide you towards the way because i've done a lot of work through this and i will synthesize it so it's like easier for you to understand so you don't have to go the same amount of like do the same amount of work that I've done. So do that and keep practicing and I promise you, you will see results very fast. As I said, you can join my community in the description. You can join my pre-sale in the description if you want to have like a step-by-step -step real, real specific, specific video guides that I will make about this. So 
go get that thank you for checking it out take care of yourselves boys and girls i really hope you have a good summer and i'll see you soon in the next video please comment below what you want me to do a minor conversion video about other than that i hope i'll see you in the next video okay kisses bye bye